Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went solo on one of the most popular roster and servers and we're going to go from nothing to having insane loot, non-stop PvP and finishing a raid. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal I'll upload more roster and videos. Also make sure to subscribe, we're trying to reach 40,000 subscribers soon. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going for another one which is a wicked aura. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you have liked the video, subscribed and comment something below and if you're a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Mob Control World Clash. Mob Control is a totally free mobile game which is quite entertaining. It is very easy to learn and very satisfying when you finish your games. It is super relaxing as well. You get to earn championship stars by winning battles, building your bases and winning tournaments. You can create massive mobs and lead them to victory in the most competitive and relaxing game in the app store. There are various game modes including base invasion where you raid enemy bases and steal coins and bricks from other players. You can also play in revenge or concerts where you can fight back against attacking players and boss levels where you challenge yourself in a special level layout for extra bonuses there's also a season pass where there is fresh content uploaded every month where you complete quests to advance in the season pass and claim the rewards check out the game in the description below and for this sponsor we're doing a huge giveaway as well the first 100 people that download it using the link in the description below will receive a free skin in unturned ranging from mythicals to rares if you guys are interested in this event make sure to join my discord open a ticket and you will receive your prize download now now and conquer the world and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, welcome to Ross Turned. Completely solo today, very popular survey. We're starting off from absolutely nothing, except I have a bit of guns in my vault. I have played on the server with a few of my friends on a live stream, and I did vault some items. I'm pretty sure I have a few guns, nothing that insane though, but I guess it'll be good for us to have a helpful start. Now this server is crazy. There's a lot of bases everywhere, a lot of people. Group limit is 10, and we're going to try to do this completely alone today. So what we're going to do is we're going to farm as much as possible. I do have a plan about base building. You can have two bases because you can have two beds. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to have a base on one side of the map and another base on the other side of the map. Reason for this is so that we can actually, if just in case we're getting raided or something like that, I can just move all of my loot to the second base. Alright, so I got myself a bow, myself a few arrows, myself a pickaxe and a hatchet. So we're gonna start farming, I'm gonna try to get my myself as much materials as possible. I also do have a bit of goals for today, first of all I wanna get myself PvP, maybe countering a base raid, doing a base raid for sure. And as I just said earlier, having myself two actually good bases with functioning furnaces. Perhaps workbench level 3 would also be pretty good. I also did learn a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of level 2 items learned. I am not really that sure. But as soon as we got one, I'll just check it out. Trying to find myself a decent base location. I don't want to build in a very populated area. I want to build in somewhere a bit chill so that I don't have to worry about getting raided in the first 5 minutes. Obviously for both bases. Perhaps I could have one in a very chill area, which would be the main base. Another base, having it somewhere a bit more chaotic. So we can always just run out in that base, have barely nothing in it. Trying to get as much kills as possible and loot, obviously. I think I'm gonna build one in the snow and another one on grass or something like that. I think that would be a, a great idea. And there's a lot of compounds around, we already saw like three on our little walk. But yeah, this server is probably one of the most accurate to real rust. There's a lot of functioning stuff. That base is actually decaying, but there are sentries. So I don't think I should... Yeah, I'm... Uh, Alright, well, I am dead. Damn, sentries have a long range. Okay, well, <laughs> all of that farm was a waste. Barely lost everything. It's alright, I'll just re-farm. I think we'll build somewhere around here because we're on snow. I never really built on snow areas. I think it's a, it's a good idea to build here. I think there's oil rig close to... I found myself a nice hill, very close to pretty good loot area as well. For now, we'll do triangular. I'm not gonna build anything crazy. I should have enough wood for two cupboard and everything. Do ourselves a airlock as well. Floor. Now, the problem is I do not have metal frag. So we're gonna have to go for a recycler run or get myself oil for a furnace. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a, a pain. But we got ourselves a sleeping bag, hopefully. Nobody will come here, that's that's actually the the risky thing. We could do a door with no code lock, but they could still open it basically. But perhaps if they see a door, 
they will think that it's locked. Here, we're gonna need ourselves actually a bit more wood. Let's just take a bit from tool cupboard. <laughs> Let's just put it there. And we just have to hope and pray that, yeah, we, we need metal frags and we don't have any. We have ore, but we need to smelt it. So what I'm going to do probably is I am going to just try to get myself a recycler run. And when I have only a rock. Right, so this is what I have in my vault. So I have a few guns. I'm actually gonna take an AK out. There's people. Wait, what? There's people around. Right, well, I don't know if it's a good idea. I think they're gonna try to... They're gonna try to raid this base. Yeah, they're right there. They're building like a platform to get up there. All right, so quick pause. Basically, after this, I was told that this is actually against the rules. I did not know that. So whenever I do it myself to try to counter... I was not aware of this situation, so that, that is basically what happened. I saw these guys doing it, so I thought it was okay. But anyway, that'll come later. Let's hop back straight into the action. I genuinely don't know if I should try to counter them. I think they're gonna try to raid it. I could try to wait for them to raid. There's a billion sentries. I could try to wait for them to raid and then I'll, I'll just be a rat and go back and try to get as much items as possible. The thing is, if I die, I would lose a pretty good AK. But I think it will be worth the risk. I'm gonna try to go a bit from behind. He shouldn't be able to spot me from here, right? I hope not. Yeah, I think they're trying- I think that was- I don't even know what that is. I thought that was a sentry. What I could try is I could try to suicide. Yeah, they're right there. I could try to suicide, vote the gun back. Just go try to build a second base, and then I, I wait for like 10 minutes. These guys may be ready, and then I'll come back and take the scraps. I don't think it's possible for me to kill these guys and not want them to raid me. Especially since I have raiding gear. I'm raiding the sentries. Yeah, they're spamming rockets. For all I know, these guys may not even be in a duo. They could be like a, an eight-man group. And the others are just common. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna wait for them to raid and then I'll come back and take all of- Oh, but they saw me. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, well, that did not really work out as I wanted it, sadly. That's okay. I'll do what I wanted to do originally. I'll suicide and I'll loot somewhere else. And then when they're done with the raid, I'll go pick up the scraps. Or even when they're raiding, I could try to counter them. But we'll do that later. And there's a the guy. I spotted a guy. He has a heavy plate helmet. So I took one of my AKs out. If I die with this, I would barely have any more guns, man. These guns are like backup. Just in case for situations like this. Right there. He's down and he is dead. Let's go check out what loot he had. Anything good, bucko? Uh, okay, well, he has a... Actually, he has a lot of frags. That's good. That's great. Wait, I didn't home? I didn't claim my bed? Oh my god, there's no way. I, th I think I actually already got raided then. Oh, that's terrible. My base already got raided, I think. There's a base here, actually. It could be his, perhaps. We could build close to Dome. There's also cargo very close. Wait, there's no way that this base is also open, right? Is this open? Oh, no, they have a... They have a metal sheet door. Never mind. Alright, so we can reskin. I'm gonna make it into my normal skin, actually. Normal AK skin looks much better, in my opinion. Yeah, I think we're gonna build somewhere close on the hill here. Bro, we got so much loot. We're gonna go have to do, go to Recycler for this. But we have uh, enough metal for code locks now, so that's good. And I vaulted a bit as well. Yeah, let's build somewhere up on this mountain. Close to Dome, close to a gas station, close to Cargo. Just from those three locations, I should have everything that I need, honestly. I'm gonna have to farm a bit of stone and wood, because I don't have any. Get ourselves some stone. This kill was quite profitable, though. I can make a pickaxe. I don't think I can. Actually, never mind. We need a workbench for that. Alright, well, I think I just found the gold mine. There is a workbench level 3 in this base. We could build close to it, and whenever I need to craft something with it, I could just come here. I don't even need to farm myself. Only problem is it may decay. Yeah, there's level 1 here. It's actually a recycle. Yeah, level 3. Oh, that's great. Problem is, we would need to be in the complete open. But if we build close enough, somewhere on this hill, that would be pretty good, actually. Yeah, we're gonna build somewhere around here. Let's get ourselves a few more logs. Yeah, I think we're gonna build here. There's a metal base down there with sentries. We gotta be careful not to get too close to that. There's a gas station very close for a recycler, so... I think we just found ourselves our base spot. Our second base spot. At some point, I will try to go back to the first base and just put a code lock on it, and I would just reclaim it. I already have a hammer in the building planner. That dude was about to build a base, so I got literally everything that I needed. I can't build it too close since of that tool cupboard. I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm actually not gonna let it decay. 
And we'll build uh, right over here. We'll build a 2x1 triangle. Basically the same way we were going to do earlier. Except this time we'll have ourselves code locks. Our walls are done. Doorway and doorway. Let's just make the door already. We can make garage doors. I think I've already researched that last time. I'm not sure. Put the TC there. Let's continue building. Triangle. No, no, not flower frame. Gives us a hole. And there we go. Base is built. Now what we need to do is put some of that over there. And let's start upgrading to stone. I did farm. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're gonna need to farm a bunch of stone then. Let's make ourselves a sleeping bag. Let's put that right over there. This is bad too though, actually. It's very weird. I thought my first bed got destroyed. Apparently not. All right, we'll put the heavy helmet here. I don't want to lose it. Especially since I don't have any more armor. We could run around with the bow probably for now. Or with the AK, I mean, it's fine. All right, so we're gonna have to do the code locks, obviously. Very important. Let's make two, one for the TC. We can make a double door, actually. I'm gonna do that right now. Get the hammer and the building planner. Let's put the code lock on there so now we're actually safe. Let's demolish that. Let's get this out. Oh, I don't have enough. I need wood. I don't have more wood. I'm gonna need to farm more wood. Let's just put these items in there. Let's put the code lock on the TC. I could do a wood run and after I'll do a recycler run. Because we can get a lot of scrap with this. Maybe even some HQM. A lot of cloth. Alright, let's 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 get ourselves a, a bunch of wood. And a bunch of stone too, actually. Alright, so I made it to the gas station actually that I wanted. Now, I did farm a lot of um, oil on the way. There's a... Uh, oh, Thompson. I'll take that, gladly. There's so many barrels here. We're gonna farm this place. And hopefully get ourselves as much loot as possible. We'll leave all of this getting farmed. Yeah, a bunch of more junk. I gotta be careful that nobody actually shows up. But I got enough, I got enough oil for a furnace, which is perfect. I don't know if I should salvage the gears, actually. And we're gonna get as much scrap as possible. Now, I'm probably gonna still farm for myself to get level 3 workbench. And maybe even a refinery. Because I don't really want to run around every single time out of my base to craft C4s out in the middle of the open. Wouldn't really be a, a smart idea. But for now, we'll borrow the one that's outside, probably. Just in case we don't get enough at some point. Get ourselves a bunch of high quality, too. Let's put all of these. I don't think we can recycle the computers. I'm gonna get so much cloth out of this, it's gonna be insane. We could try to farm all of these barrels. I wanna vault the scrap. We got a lot of scrap already. To put some frags as well so that we can start upgrading base. And yeah, there we go. We got a bunch of more scrap, high qual, cloth. Yeah, cloth is starting to be made now. All right, boys, we are back. Got myself enough wood for that. Now we can. I don't think I can make a garage door. Oh, we already have this. Never mind. It's right over there. Perfect. I didn't salvage all of the suture kits. I'm pretty sure we need them to actually craft stuff. We're gonna have to salvage the uh, TC, actually. Alright, well, it's no problem. Hopefully, base don't decay instantly, but it shouldn't. Bro, I still can't place it. What the hell? Wait, let's just put the TC first. I think that's a bit more important. Let's put these in there. Put the door. There we go. Now we have a double door. Amazing. Beautiful. Alright, let's um put all of these in there. All of the wood. Not the water, though. Now, that barricade, I may actually put it right in front of my base. I think that would be a good idea. We're gonna have to make some crates soon, too. We have literally no storage except for the TC. Yeah, for furnace, I have everything for sure. Let's take the oil, the stone, and there we go. We have ourselves our first furnace. Beautiful. Yeah, let's put the wood back. Now, we're gonna make ourselves a few crates. A few boxes, not crates. I guess we could put them there for now. We're gonna have to upgrade base soon, so... Put that third one right over there. Let's make ourselves three code locks so that they're all locked. Let's equip the second one. There we go. Now, for now, we shouldn't have any problem with storage. We also put a code lock on the double door. Now, let's take... I don't know if we should upgrade with stone. Let's put all of these in there. The Tommy gun. The computers. It's already stone. Let's start doing it with metal already. Let's just skip stone. Just in case we're gonna want to upgrade the base with stone later on. Then we will have... Yeah, we're out of metal. Slowly upgrading base. But now we can actually... Oh, there's people outside. There's somebody outside. Let's try to kill him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's dead. My guy had a hazmat. Oh, yeah, he had a hazmat python shotgun. Oh, I can't even get back in. <laughs> All right, well, that is terrible. Hazmat is actually really good because now I can do runs at cargo. Wait, what? Wait, my bed is still there. When you when you do slash homes, you can select which bed. And 
Home one is still there. First base is still there. Okay, that is weird. Yeah, I can't just do this jump. That's good for people trying to raid then. They can't enter from the main door. Let's put the hazmat outfit. Let's put the shotgun and the python. The ammo. I want to check out what's up with that base, actually. I'm going to take some metal with me for a code lock. Actually, we could continue upgrading a little bit. Just to making sure this part of the base is upgraded well enough. Yeah, we don't have any more. I still have one wall that's wood. Yeah, I can't do anything. Alright, that's no problem though. Let's put these in there. Maybe I think it's time for us to go and see if those guys are still raiding and try to counter. Even if we get anything like good, even if we get like junk, it, it's enough. Yeah, base is still unraided, man. What the hell? Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, I, th I don't know if they're still there. I'm gonna try to go back and I'm gonna try to do what they did. Oh yeah, they're still raiding. Yeah, they're trying... I think that's C4. Wait, they salvaged all of the all of the roof, all of the platforms. Yeah, they're in. They're completely in. I'm gonna try to counter and get myself some loot, hopefully. I'm gonna have to chop down a few trees to build the platform like they did. Bro, imagine I kill him and get C4 or something like that. That would be insane. And they're still raiding. You can't vault raiding gear on the survey. Alright, so I made myself code lock for a door. This base is now secured. So now, this is our actually second base. We're gonna do the tactic. There's people walking outside again, man. What? Bro, there's somebody hitting my base. Alright, this is actually terrible because I don't have... If they're door camping me and they kill me, I would lose this. So I'm gonna vote the scrap that I got from that run. And I'm gonna try to see... What was ha What? There's nobody around. Okay. Could have been a naked then. That's probably what, what, what it was. Raiding stopped for a bit, so maybe these guys just left. They picked up the loot and left. So I'm gonna go try to enter that base. And see if there's any scraps or if they're just looting and I could tr try to kill them get all of their loot. So also that dude that killed me, he's in a four-man group. So I don't think it's just two people inside that base now raiding. It's, it's a four-man group. Oh, there's a dead man here. Yeah, this was the guy that probably punched my base. I'm gonna get myself wood for the platform and we're gonna start building. Let's make our oh yeah, they're still there. They're still raiding. They just threw three C4. This can only go terribly wrong, man. I'm actually terrified. Uh, Alright, let's start building. Hopefully I have enough wood. Uh, I'm scared they're gonna hear me building the platforms. Oh, and I am out of wood. Okay, this is terrible. I need to farm more. Yeah, I had enough for one more. Yeah, I'm out. That base raid is actually insane. It's large. It's massive. So they could have really good loot. Probably more than those guys can carry. Let's chop ourselves much more trees. Yeah, they're still raiding. They're still throwing C4. Oh, they're shooting. I probably found, like, beds then. I thought that was at me. Alright, let's do the jump. Let's continue build. I'm honestly terrified about this. A lot of shots going in there. I think that's perfect. I think that's enough. Oh, sentries were focused on me. I gotta be careful. And I am dead. Alright. I think I know what I did wrong. I, I proned when I was jumping to try to land quicker, but yeah, that didn't really work out. I think we're gonna go back naked. Let's just take this AK just for us to get over there. And then when we're done doing the jump, I'll just put it back in vault. Alright, put it back in vault. Oh my god, I landed with 2 HP. I think my AK is at the very bottom. No, I lost an AK again. Okay, I'm going in with no guns. Literally naked. There's nothing in that room. They're inside, I hear them walk. This is actually terrifying. There's nothing on this floor. Yeah, there's a furnace, a large furnace right under this. Bro, this is so scary. I'm literally trying to... Gr oh, there's stuff down there though. I'm gonna try to see if they show up or something. Let's just heal up a bit, even though it won't matter if they see me. Yeah, they stopped trading too. There's a bunch of loot down there. I see M39. I don't know if I should go down yet. Let's... Oh, there's actually loot. Oh my god, there's so much loot over here. I'm gonna open vault, I'm gonna put stuff in vault. I don't even have space. There's so many jackhammers, bro. There we go, we got a jackhammer. That's actually really good. We got an M39. Bro, there's so much metal nodes. We'll take... Oh, they're decaying. Oh, we got ourselves ammo. It's in there. Oh, bunch of more metal. Bro, we got so much ammo. There's a locker over there. Oh, there is some load. There are some scraps. We're gonna obviously take all of these jackhammers. There's an armored door. Chainsaws. Take that. Bro, we actually got loot. There is no way that we got loot. Yeah, there's nothing else in that. There's a bunch of more loot here. I think it's just charcoal and metal. Bunch of syringes. You know what? I won't complain. I'm gonna go to home too. 
I won't complain. I got a gun. We did lose an AK, sadly, but we got, a, I think, a better gun. A bunch of ammo, a bunch of jackhammers, a bunch of metal. All for free. And an armored door. So we can literally research that. We can make armored door for days. I'll put all of these there. Could have been much, much worse, honestly. Alright, so we're gonna cook ourselves a bunch of metal. We did all do a high quality wall. We just have to do the final metal wall, and this base would be quite strong now. I'm really happy with the jackhammers, honestly. I'm really, really happy with those. I'm gonna run around with the shotgun for a bit. I think I may take hazmat and go for a cargo ship run. You can get some really good loot from there. Yeah, let's upgrade that wall. Oh, I need, need more frags. What? I don't have enough? Okay, now I should, right? Yeah, there we go. And this base is now full metal. What a high quality metal wall. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we're back for round two. This time I brought a shotgun so that if they're here, I could try to blast them. Every time I'm landing with 2 HP. This time... Oh yeah, they're, they're in here. I hear them walk. I heard them. wonder where they are though. Oh, there's loot. What? There's... They're raiding these rooms around? And there's loot glitching through. Oh my god. There is no way. There's charcoal down there. Some There's scrap down there. Is that scrap? Bro, I'm terrified, man. There's a format. I think they sealed off behind them. I think they raided the TC. And they took the base over. But there's still some loot around, like, glitching through. Yeah, there's a few scrap. That's we're gonna vault that. I should have... I should have emptied my vault, man. We'll put that there. Just to have a bit of space. Let's continue medding up. There's a mandarin there, clot. Some loot glitching through, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I think they raided and took over. Because there's no way we can keep going to other rooms. Or like, they put doors or somewhere. Some of them are their doors. Let's take the clot. We're gonna take everything. Yeah, computers and targeting, CCTV. That's good for centuries, actually. We need those for centuries. That's all you need for it to make a century. Oh yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think we can take anything else from this raid. Still kind of crazy, though. So we got ourselves uh, lots of good loads, so I don't complain. I got myself a bunch of scrap. We're gonna learn as much stuff as possible. There we go, MP5, explosive. Oh, we don't have 4C4. We learned explosives though, that's great. It's really good. Actually, I do have more scrap from that raid that we just did. I think I have enough. Yep, there we go. Oh, we, we don't have enough for AK though. <laughs> that's okay. We learned C4 and explosive. Perfect. Let's go back to base. All right, boys, it's time for a cargo run. Let's hope we get ourselves some some good loot from this. Now, there is a box that we're gonna get. It's like the, the highest tier of loot. But I'm still probably gonna hit a lot of barrels. But first, we're gonna try to break this box, which is up there. Yeah, it's unclaimed. Perfect. We're gonna have to go to the very, very top, do a jump, destroy it. We can get C4. We can get every single type of weapon from it. We can get explosives. It's very good. I think the only thing you can get are, like, rockets, which... Not actually entirely sure about that. Maybe possible. Oh, elite crate. Okay, explosive heavy jacket, CCTV cameras, military crate. Bunch of more good stuff. Another elite crate. Uh, more scrap. Shotgun ammo. Just a few bandages there. I'll take those. I don't think we can do the jump from here. Not sure. I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't let us put explosive there. Oh, yeah. We need to go higher. My bad. <laughs> Alright, we made the jump. Let's just start breaking this. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Alright, broke and... Uh, actually, we didn't really get anything that crazy. Usually, we get much better loot. Single gun. Got ourselves a ton of ammo, though, so that's not bad. We'll hit all of the barrels still. Try to get ourselves as much scrap for our work. Bench level 3. Let's get ourselves blade. Another crate here. More scrap. Great. More junk. More oil. There's a military crate here. Scrap, rifle, body, and tech thrash. Not bad. Let's hit all of these barrels and then we'll go home. There's a lot of shots going on. I'm gonna take AK. No armor. Probably a stupid idea. I can't open this door. What? He's right there. Dead. Ah, I'm dead. Oh well. Alright, let's go to home one. We haven't done anything here. Base is literally decaying. Lost an AK. The team was a team of four, bro. Again. Everybody is just being in groups on the server. Alright, let's just farm wood for the base that doesn't decay. And I'm probably gonna loot around here for a bit. Try to get loot. Do a recycler run, perhaps. I keep losing AKs, man. I'm getting tired of it. Oh, there's a guy here. That guy jump scared me. He had a revolver, some clouds. Alright, well, I'll take it. I mean, we got a wolf hat. We're gonna look drippy. Not bad. 
Alright, so I think I'm gonna get my- I'm just gonna run around with the revolver now. I think I'm gonna get myself a jackhammer out of vault and farm as much nodes as possible. I think that would be a pretty good idea. There's a few barrels here, we could break them for an extra cycler run. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people come here and there's a bunch of nodes around. Yeah, we're gonna do it then. Take a jackhammer out of vault, we should have one, yes sir. And let's start farming every single node that we see. Alright guys, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now in episode 2, we will continue. We will be the final part of also this mini-series. In that video, stuff does start to get a bit crazy. There happens to be a raid next to my main base, which we will try to counter. We'll get ourselves some insane loot. Continue with much more runs, much more raiding, much more PvP. So I hope that you guys are excited for part 2. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!